Hello, breaking news. Can you believe it? Aliens exist. I don't really know what to make of this. Is it really a shock? Let's, let's just, we're going to delve straight into it. We're going to watch a few videos, see if it's true. And what, you know, I'm, I'm quite clever. I, I've got a massive, massive peen, a brain, got a massive brain. And, uh, well, I'm really good at smelling bullshit. If you've not seen the Americans, so I've decided to tell the world that UFOs exist. They have seen them. They have shot them down or they've crashed. They've taken bodies. So unidentified aliens type creatures. I mean, WTF, bro? What do you think they look like? I mean, my biggest intrigue is I want to see these motherfuckers. All right, so we're just gonna get straight into it. David Grush, uh, if you don't know who he is, this gentleman. I picked a really good photo. He has come forward, spoken in con <laughs> spoken in Congress. I'm in from the United Kingdom, so we do stuff slightly differently. But so he basically came forward and he said these people exist. However, I can't tell. I can't show you. I can't give any information other than that they exist. I have loads of colleagues who have seen them. They've even mentioned that some people he knows and his wife knows have been injured from said spacecraft. Now, does he mean the aliens got out and started a little fisty fight and bah, 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 good night, that sort of thing? Who knows? Or was this simply that they were stood at the wrong place, wrong time, and they got turned into, uh, well, jam on toast by a UFO landing on his brain? Let's be real. We don't know. And because we are peasants and nobody of relevance, we will never find this out because me you and everyone listening we are the most irrelevant piece of trash these lot have ever seen so the the funny thing is um a lot of people are saying that this is come at a time when the bidens are uh, in a lot of trouble avoiding tax or being weirdos i don't know american politics is literally like a soap in my country we have a show called eastenders coronation street emmerdale the thing they all have in common is they're all shite and that they've all gone on for 20 years too long they're so bad it makes your ears want to literally run away from your body it makes you want to stab your eyeballs out it's so bad. You film everything and make it into some sort of TV show and, oh, let's let's get loads of contestants on. The only thing you're missing is like a, you know, an obstacle course. Let's see which president does the obstacle course. So let's be honest, I'd love to see Joe Biden and fat boy Trump on an obstacle course. Good gravy. But we, we're losing control. We've spiralled. We've spiralled. If you've seen on Twitter, or an X, what's it called? Don't know. Do, 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 do. Aliens are basically confirmed. Even Elon saying it. Let's be honest, if aliens exist... I think we're fucked. But I just think humans enjoy aggravating people. I would not be surprised if we just shot a nuclear bomb into the sky just for... They said, fuck it, we got too many. Send it up and see what we hit. <laughs> You just see it flying straight away. It hits a covenant. Halo reach. Blows them up. Next thing we know, the aliens send a some sort of missile no bigger than a human being and it completely blows up the world in one. I guarantee that's going to happen. Shout out to AP News or App. Oh, too quiet. That's really convenient, isn't it? When you want to read it, dicks. So they are reverse engineering unidentified aircraft from space. So basically that means big brain come into play. They're basically going through it. You know, they've got the screwdrivers and the bloody hammers out and they're pulling it apart and they're seeing what they can find. They're seeing if there's any ray guns or thunder guns lurking in the boot. I was informed in the course of my official duties of a multi- And just to say, this guy is very high up. Some of the, one of the most, not one of the most, but he's, you know, one of, he's got the highest, the po high, <laughs> fucking hell. He's got some of the highest possible clearances a human being can have, unless you're obviously an alien, because we're working together, if you didn't know. So this guy is not ruining his career, but one thing I read is the, um, whoever, the government, someone, the Air Force, I don't know who, gave him permission to do this. Why? I mean, let's be honest, when someone else is about to expose something, a huge lie, probably hundreds of years, you you don't know the length of this. They usually get shot. I mean, I don't want to bring up Jeffrey Epstein, but I'm going to bring up Jeffrey Epstein. That man got suicided when he was about to expose this incredibly large conspiracy network. Don't forget, hashtag, he did not kill himself. But he certainly knew a lot of dirt. So, A, they are clearly, I think, trying to not hide something, but maybe divert attention or just go, fuck it. Who cares? Pe half the people believe it, the others don't. We'll just, we'll put it out their minds. Like, I'm under the impression about aliens that, of course, they exist. Of course, aliens exist. I mean, the world, the world, the universe is gigantic. It's unfathomable how large this beast we're lying in is. And we are so inconspicuous. We are so tiny. We do not matter. We could blow up tomorrow.
tomorrow, the rest of the universe would not give a fuck, nor send their regards. I reckon they're upstairs filming a reality TV show. What they're doing, they've got secret cameras everywhere, they're probably spying for all webcams and all, and what they do is they just go around filming everything, just because we are a laughing stock. Literally embarrassing. Imagine that though, an alien craft crashes and you just see like a film crew. Mics, booms, a few cameras here and there, some drones the size of fingernails that they're all just laughing at, watching and visiting their cinemas to watch. I mean, you wouldn't be surprised. It is very entertaining looking at all the idiots on this planet. Do you believe UAPs pose a potential threat to our national security? Yes. Yes. Basically, we are fucked if the CDR Fravor... Fravor? Was he on Joe Rogan? I recognise that name. Even I know that name. We faced was far superior than anything that we had. And you could put that anywhere. If you, if you had one, you captured one, you reverse engineered it, you got it to work, you're talking something that can go into space, go someplace, drop down in a matter of seconds, do whatever it wants and leave. Gee, it sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? I might I might break into Area 51 if anyone wants to join me. We'll bring we'll bring backpacks, we'll bring bring tin soup, all right? It's gonna be a long stake, but we are gonna make it through. Our plan, make it through Area 51 and find what the fuck is going on down there. Because if I can go into space and fly up and dip down on another planet, I tell you for certain I'm taking the keys to that car. We need to tell the folks at the Pentagon they work for us. Dadgummit, we don't work for them. What an American response. I tell you now, friend, you work for me. Make that correct. I do not work for your ass. There's a whole fleet of them. That is something that was released not long ago. <laughs> Shoot it down, dude. Shoot it down. I mean, what is that thing? I think, uh, look, I, I, aliens don't really scare me because... I think they've probably been here forever. I wouldn't be surprised if they made the bloody pyramids or something crazy like that. You know, it, it, would it surprise you? It would not surprise me. In the last couple of years, have you had incidences that have caused you to be in fear for your life for addressing these issues? Yes, personally. I just want everyone to note that he's coming forward in fear of his life. Just look at him. He does look scared. I mean, this man is served in the army. He's probably been in Afghanistan or something like that. And this man is terrified of what might happen to him. He know, he's heard Jeff what happened to Jeffrey and Epstein. And my God, he's just told the world that aliens exist. And the US government has been lying even more so than usual. I've actually never seen anything personally, <laughs> believe it or not. So. That's interesting, though. He's not actually seen anything. Which, I mean, I know it's... I, I, I believe aliens exist just because of how large the universe is. I find it unthinkable that they don't. Don't exist. Why is this guy coming forward? Is it because he knows and he's, he's you've been told it? I want, I want to know the source. Who's seen the real stuff? What percentage of UAP sightings in your belief go unreported by our pilots? This is an approximation based off of my personal experience speaking with a number of pilots, but uh, I would estimate we're somewhere near 5% reporting, perhaps. 5% only get reported. That is a little bit crazy. So actually think about, I mean, let's say out of the 100%, maybe 50% of these are right. That is still, you know, a fifth, which are not getting reported. So there's potentially 80% of these are not being reported through. So uh, just uh, how, how often do they come? Careful. How often do they arrive on our planet? How often are they here to, to film? On their TV show, or what? What are they doing? They, are they just driving around laughing at how shit we are? They had all this power, all this money, and they just decided to build a few towers. And everyone's bored working. We've just got hit by an illness, and the world collapses like it's a like it's a bridge getting blown up by the USSR. Did the Tic Tac UAP move in such a way that defied the laws of physics? The way we understand them. Yes. If all this is true as well, everything we have learned in school means it does not. What does it mean? I mean, obviously gravity is a thing, thanks for the to the apple, but speed of light that must that must be BS. If they can go up and down, left and right, planet to planet in the matter of minutes, seconds, whatever it might be, we've been just told a lie. We've been wasting our time in school. Look at this woman in the back smile. Is she smiling or crying? What's going on? Um, what percentage of UAPs do you feel are adequately investigated? I can only speak for uh, my personal leadership over at NGA. I tried to look at every report that came through that I mm -hmm. could triage. So, Do you believe that officials at the highest levels of our national security apparatus have unlawfully withheld information from Congress? There are certain elected leaders that had more information that I'm not sure what they've shared. You've stated that the government is in possession of potentially non-human spacecraft. Based on your experience and extensive conversations with experts, do you believe our government has made contact with intelligence? extraterrestrials something i can't discuss in public setting 
That is a weird response. I mean, I, I know you can only say so much. You're in front, you're on telly, you're in front of the world. However, like when people say no comment in court, did you kill this person? No comment. It means you killed them. What's gone on? Have they tried sending, using a walkie-talkie and speaking to them? They received back. <laughs> can we get the translator in, please? Get Paul from downstairs back. If you believe we have crashed craft, uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries. Confirmations. Oof. Just let that ponder in your brain. Confirmation. A little green dude. Or whatever. All alien lives matter. Hashtag it. What What do you think they look like? Let me know down below what you think they look like. I want I want some descriptions. I want drawings. Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to. Confirmation. 100% not human. That guy behind as well, I recognize him. He's been on a Joe Rogan. Have you met with people with direct knowledge or have direct knowledge yourself of non-human origin craft? Yes, I personally interviewed those individuals. He, he worked with them, he's spoken to them. I mean, yes, do you believe this guy? Look, that, that's a question for another day, but I think all this information, why would he put his life on the line? Why would he risk everything, his career? If he dies, there needs to be some serious looking into who did that because he's not going to kill himself. Let's get that out of the fucking way. Yeah. How does a program like that get funded? US taxpayers, that's how. Who else? For charging for certain tech they're selling to the US government and that additional money is going to programs? Correct, through something called IRAD. This man's life is in danger right now. I just want to say that out loud. He is in trouble. He is giving out all the dirt, all the goss. There are satellite imagery of these events. Uh, that was one of my primary tasks at NGA, since we uh, process, exploit, and disseminate that kind of information. Uh, but I personally um, reviewed both uh, what we call overhead collection and from other strategic and tactical platforms that were, I could not even explain prosaically. And I have a degree in physics, by the way, as well. Let's get something out of the way then. Is this real? Do you believe it exists? I think abso absolutely. This has got to be true. This man, pick a different picture of him. He, he seems like a good guy. Oh, that's not any better. He is clearly worried for his life now. He understands the what he's just done. He's exposed the US for so much and so many things that they've done. They've lied. They've taken money from probably the taxpayer. Who knows? Lied about funding certain projects, certain things. What next? Where is it? What can I see that will give me proof? All good and well talking, but I need to see something now. But look, really appreciate your time. This is crazy. It is madness, the world we're living in. And every single day, something else takes the top spot of craziness. Let me know what you thought. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.